Right, just um, a quick video on an update on the Removu P1. Um, I was looking on the um, Removu website last night after I actually done the video on my for my Removu, and um, they've actually put a firmware update for it. And the greatest thing about the firmware update is the sheer fact that it can. One of the new enhancements is that it allows you to like do a self timer for video and photographs. So if I go into the menu system, which no wrong way, no it is, yep, and then go over to the right hand side. Now in this menu. Um, the third one down is called Recall Timer, and it's a new feature. If I go into Recall Timer, you now have Video Timer and Photo Timer, which is really cool because the fact that you can actually go into light, even if for some reason it still comes up with Photo Timer when you're in the video side you can change it for either 3 seconds or 5 seconds now for both video and photo side of it that is so good because it means that if I say for example if I stick them both on 5 seconds and then come out of the um, menu if you watch the screen carefully at the bottom of the screen I'm on the video mode at the moment. If I tap the record button, it comes up with four, three, two, one, and now it's recording. Now that is really, really handy. And then obviously just stop recording and it start. And it also does three seconds as well. If I change it to photograph mode, as you can see tap the button to take a picture you get five seconds it's showing just at the bottom there by my finger and it takes the picture when I got that update last night I was thinking I wish I had had that update in December because it was two or three times where I went to take a photograph and because obviously like being in a jacuzzi, you you, d you don't want to take a photograph trying to take this off your wrist all the time and then pressing the button like thinking, hello. Um, that would have been so good. So I, now I can have it on my wrist, hit the button, now it's on a five second delay, and set myself up for the photograph. That is really so cool. It did say there's some bug fixes with it as well. It's got support for the Hero 4 Session, I think it is. I don't have a Hero 4 Session anyway. So that is really handy. As I say, that's in the... Using that button. Then you can use, actually you can use that button to go across. In that menu, down to a call timer and then either top one video or bottom one photo you can select what's needed obviously either five seconds or three seconds I'm going to put them back, both back to off now it's easier when I look at this around but that is a really cool update and I thought I'd just post a quick analysts of um, that as that is what be one of the best little new features that this removal device have actually got it's funny actually I was looking on the website last night and I noticed they're selling a new R1 Plus which um, the R1's like this but you don't need to, you don't need an external screen with it because it's built into it but an R1 Plus supposedly is waterproof as well which I don't see the point in buying one which I'm happy with this as it is and I can even use it with the case off because it doesn't fall straight out of the screen but no, that is a brilliant new feature so that feature is the video and photo timer for obviously either taking video or taking a photograph it's got 3 seconds and 5 seconds that is absolutely brilliant 
So let me know what you think. If um, if you if you have a removal and you've just come across the same update, let me know what you think about the update because I think that is so damn cool. It's really good um, features to have on it. Okay, that was the um, video on the update.